Welcome back to the Line Opinion Panel. This week, a column in the Albuquerque Journal caught our attention. The newspaper published letters from some students that were sent to Governor Martinez about the park exam. Now, those letters showed those students are struggling, certainly, in writing, especially when it comes to grammar and spelling and sentence structure. Now, some might have read those letters and seen them as evidence that New Mexico schools are falling and failing, but others were left with a lot of unanswered questions. Laura, there's a lot to parse out of these things. I appreciate where the journal was coming from and Leslie Lithenko, I'm sorry, <laughs> Deval <laughs> Westfall, who she replaced. I appreciate where she was coming from on this, but there was an immediate visceral reaction when you read this column and you saw it. What was your immediate gut reaction when you, Just when you saw disappointment. that? Disappointment, I mean, devastating. Yeah. I, to me, you know, it reminded me of when I was, I was teaching, I taught for about three or four years, um, mm -hmm. graduate students in a master's program, both for Highland and for NMSU, um, and uh, at different times. Mm -hmm. The quality of writing, you know, was not what I would expect of an MBA student. Right. But after seeing that, I can, you know, market improvement, obviously, from high sure, school sure. to mm -hmm. graduate school, but yet still some of the same sentence, sentence structure problems, um, punctuation problems. Mm -hmm. And many of those students, once I took time to correct them and talk to them about their writing, had mm -hmm. said nobody had ever critiqued their writing before. Wow. Nobody had given them that level of, of criticism, of uh. constructive criticism for them to improve. They had no idea they were making mistakes. And many of them were professionals already in a job, in the job market, that were taking, you know, courses to get a, a master's degree um, to try to go get, you know, a, a better position in their company. Wow. So uh, there's something wrong. You know, there sure. definitely is something wrong. Sure. And something that the park testing and any other kind of, you know, assessment it, it clearly is not addressing. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really taking the time to explain to these students what they're doing wrong so that they can change their patterns at an early enough mm -hmm. age where they don't track these problems throughout their whole career. Yeah, there you go. You know, Sophie, we've mm -hmm. all heard stuff that Laura's describing before. I've talked to many employers. Mm -hmm. That are hugely disappointed with grown adults walking in the door and their writing skills. Absolutely. A huge problem. Absolutely. But that aside, when you talk about Santa Fe High School juniors and seniors, I believe, were the, and some ele elementary mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. uh, in the letters, was that fair to the students? Did something feel cherry picked in you some know, way? You asked this question of Laura, and, I, and yeah. I'm going to sort of bring it back Please. up mm -hmm. this question of whether this is evidence. And, yeah. and the truth of the matter is, I, you know, I don't consider something evidence unless there's. Um, a large enough sample size and random sampling and all right. of that kind of stuff. What right. we have here is a group of students who um, who had tried to express work to express their feelings to government and ended up being ridiculed for it right. and ridiculed on a statewide level. We know that this is not actually what they need. What they need is effective writing intervention. And I'm just going to reinforce what Laura said here. A standardized test on a computer is not the source of, of effective writing intervention. Mm -hmm. um, good teaching in the schools, early intervention so that students can not keep reinforcing mistakes that they're making. Right. Those things are going to make a difference for these kids. Mm -hmm. You know, something else, though, I think is really worth noting mm -hmm. nationwide, and this isn't an excuse for what we saw in the letters, but nationwide we're seeing this conversation about how children write today changes in how writing is taught, changes in how they write in the world. Mm -hmm. Children are probably writing more than we did, mm -hmm. you know, day to day, but they're writing in texts, they're writing in emails, they have this informal conversation going on, and there isn't a priority placed in the larger community mm -hmm. on, on great writing. Mm -hmm. We need to see our schools really addressing that, if that's a, a standard that we want to continue to apply to mm -hmm. them. I get teased by my kids for using periods and texts. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think it's yeah. the funniest thing in the world. I'm sorry. Yeah, although it's I, interesting. I'll take the contrarian view here. I mean, mm -hmm. I, in a way, I was not surprised because 51 percent, uh, the uh, Legislative Finance Committee came out with a, came mm -hmm. out with a report last mm -hmm. year. 51 percent of all kids going to college, he's not counting the kids who graduated from high school, going to college in New Mexico, 51 percent needed remedial. Uh, That's right. Courses. That's right. So on that level, I was not surprised. But when you see the letters, you are shocked. Mm -hmm. And you know, we'll, we'll have to take Miss Westfall's word for it, but she says these are 165 letters, and mm -hmm. she says that was a representative sampling mm -hmm. of what of, of the letters they got. Now I, I know what you're saying mm -hmm. here about you know the uh, about the. Uh, the, whether or not that's re representative overall, sure. but still, sure. I mean, it's it does get a visceral, visceral reaction because they are so striking. That's right. And also the the fact that a lot of the letters seem to have been, according to Ms. Westfall, mm -hmm. they were had the same titles. Right. Sometimes went word for word, had the same misspellings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that. Lends, lends itself sure. some questions sure. as well. So. You know, interesting on that point, uh, Dan, because, uh, again, uh, Ms. Westfall <coughs> did make that point that, look, some of the wording sounded like it was coached 
from parents because there was no, misinformation no doubt, in some no of those no letters. Doubt. So, so mm -hmm. one of the things that used to happen to me a lot during the legislature mm -hmm. is obviously as a conservative Republican, there were things I was opposed to. Sure. I know people will be surprised to hear right. that. And miraculously, you know, this group of kids would show up and they'd be chanting, you know, we're, we want you to be for this. Or we want you to vote no on that. And, you know, lots of people would just be like, okay, goodbye. I mm -hmm. would say, well, tell me more. And almost exclusively, the kids were like, I, I, they, they told me to say that. I don't know what else to do. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm done. You got me here. Mm -hmm. I think the shameful part is the people that are using these kids as a political pawn to get a political message out. Mm -hmm. I think, does this- But in it, both directions. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, both not, directions. I'm, I'm not denying that at all. Mm -hmm. But I think at the end of the day, you know, I, I saw this year, I was up there for one of the first times, and there was a ton of students. They'd walked out of Santa Fe at a Capitol or mm -hmm. Santa Fe, I don't remember which one, mm -hmm. and they were there. And I was walking around with some legislative friends of mine and these kids were like, we're against the park test. We'll stop the testing. And they would ask them, well, what don't you like about it? I hate testing. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what is it about the park test? I just hate testing. And some of them would say, well, the people that told us to be here said to tell you this. And so I think the real problem is, and I think this is a, an example of what the governor is fighting, in, in my opinion, and, and Secretary Scandera fighting, is that there's a large segment of New Mexico that believes status quo is the way we should go. And I think the governor has said, I don't agree with that. The numbers from the LFC have said, we have a huge problem. The governor has said, we're going to make changes. I don't think that everything the governor is saying is the way to go is the right way, mm -hmm. but I don't think the other side is bringing alternatives. Mm -hmm. I think they're just sitting back, digging in their heels, and doing things like this that I think are shameful. Were the kids set up a little bit here, in your view, with the with the wording of the, those letters? Yeah. I mean, if I you're mean, complaining about tests you haven't taken yet, if you're complaining about results that right. no one can predict. Well, they're I clearly mean, being, you know, they're being used yeah. by people with an agenda, mm -hmm. and I, I think I'm, I agree it's on both sides, yeah. and I think that when when anybody reads those letters, we should all feel a sense of shame that we're allowing this to continue. And I hope that people at the Department of, of Ed right. read those with mm -hmm. a sense of shame. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, neither status quo, you know, mm -hmm. business as usual, nor the last three, three and a half years of, four years of Hannah Scandera and her policies have helped these children. Mm -hmm. So the neither side. Helped. I think the four years have helped. I think that there's been a lot of... In, in what way? A, well, I think, I think some of the testing numbers are showing that they're getting better. I don't think they're getting better as quickly as people want, but I think the answer is... But they're getting I, better at taking the test. And I think right, that's part not, of not at our writing our something. Right. They, can't, no, they no, still no, can't well, express is, themselves I mean, that, professionally. That's true, that's true. I mean, the so writing, I'm talking about writing no, in I'm, particular. I'm with you. Writing in particular is a huge problem, and I think it's as so it's a lost art. People don't... I mean, my kids can't write something without... Well, whatever happened to cursive writing? Right. I, I, don't get me started. Never mind right. cursive writing. Years ago, I mean, I would, I would be okay printing no, it's, with the right that's language. Right. Like that's right. were, my mom is rolling right. over in a grave right now that my handwriting is better than any one of those kids because I had the worst handwriting growing up. And, and I got to tell you, my mom, my mom told the story about when I left to go to Catholic school and she had a meeting with the teacher before I left for Catholic school. And the teacher, my mom said, Danny's handwriting is horrible. And I was in second grade and the teacher said, don't worry, Danny is so bright he'll have a secretary. The next day I was in Catholic school and I remember my mom telling the teacher, I wish I was as hopeful about my kid's future as you are. <laughs> and I was in Catholic school the That's next awesome. day. <laughs> That's awesome. Not bad. Education is a hot topic. We'll come back to this again and again here on New Mexico in Focus. It's an important issue for New, Me New Mexicans certainly. Now, if you want to share your thoughts with us, go to NewMexicoInFocus.org.